For a shortcut to homemade pie, try this. Nobody would ever know that you didn't make this homemade pie from scratch. The secret is using that great rolled refrigerated pie crust. Just take out my pie crust, unroll it, and I like to roll it out just a little bit further. Rather than making a traditional crimped edge, we're gonna do a rustic pie today, which is even easier. So you just wanna make sure you have a nice, even circle of dough and then transfer that to your pie plate. And rather than crimping and trimming and fussing with the edges, you just want to make sure you get the pie crust down into the pie plate and then spoon in your filling. I've got some canned cherry pie filling here, but you could use your favorite homemade pie filling too if you'd like. Spread that to the edges. And now here's the fun part. Like I said, we're not gonna be crimping the edge. We're just gonna simply fold in the crust. And this gives that really rustic look. You do wanna make a few pleats just so that it lays down nicely over your pie filling. And to add a really special touch to the edges, I just want to brush it with a little bit of whipping cream, or you can use milk if you want. And then sprinkle it with a little bit of coarse sugar. What the sugar is going to do is help that pie crust brown really nicely on the edges. You want to bake your pie in a 375 degree oven for 40 to 50 minutes or until the edges are nicely browned and the filling is bubbly. And when you take it out, I've got an extra little topper touch that can make it really good. I'm just going to take some granola, some granola cereal, and add some toasted sliced almonds to it and sprinkle that over my pie once it's baked and ready to eat. There's nothing better, especially when it's a snap to make.